Adding and subtracting polynomials is not hard at all. All you have to remember Let's play. Here we go. to add these polynomials is to add the like terms only. Let's combine like terms here. I use the circle square triangle method. Just circle the ones that are alike. The x squareds are alike. So five, you have five of them and minus three of them. Five minus three is, so I have two of the same thing. It'll be telling me x to the fourth or something. Now who else do we have that's the same? I have eight x's and two x's. Together that makes ten x's. And then the numbers just get together. 2 and negative 5, you know how to add integers, get negative 3. And there it is. You have to know when to stop also. Now what about subtraction? Well, subtraction brings a little bit of a problem with it. Because that subtraction, I hope you appreciate, just like any other sign, has power over what's to the right of it. And what's to the right of it is a parentheses. So he has power over all three of those terms. He has no power backwards, though. So we're just going to write the first group, because the negative didn't change anything, or the subtraction doesn't change anything. Now, let's subtract those three the negative or subtraction of 3x squared. Let's flip the sign. When we flip the sign of the next one, the negative of a negative, we get a plus 2x, don't we? And then the negative of a positive 5, or the opposite of a positive 5, is a negative 5. Now, now we're back to kind of addition, where we combine the like terms. We just have to be careful with that negative in the parentheses. 3x squared, a positive 3x squared, and a negative 3x squared. That's just zero. and We don't write it. We don't write zero. Negative 8x and positive 2x is negative 6x. And positive 2 and negative 5 it's a negative 3. And you got it. Okay, let's practice it. Get to that homework.